have the Cabernet Sauvignon, the 2012. Um, the Cabernet, um, our Cabernet at um, Oldenburg, um, traditionally um, more again back to the fruity flavors. Uh, whether it's, it's sometimes I find it's a, a black fruit like uh, black currant, other times it's a red fruit like cherries, and sometimes it's a mix of the two. Um, so, and, and I think that 2012 is a typical example of uh, Oldenburg Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, so, um, that's very much the, the type of character that we get. Um, firm tannins as well. Um, these are really wines that should be enjoyed with a bit after a bit of aging, mm -hmm. I find. Um, that's not to say that you can't drink them now, but then you should drink, drink them with a, a strong dish or mm -hmm. something, you know, something that's going to give the wine a bit of a competition. Mm -hmm. One of the most amazing, maybe you can try that while you're still in South Africa, but uh, uh, one of the most interesting food suggestions I've ever, ever heard for Cabernet Sauvignon, and I've tried it and it works, mm -hmm. and I will be, I believe it will work with a wine like this, is with curry. Oh, okay. And, and not, not a gentle Thai curry, an Indian curry. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it, believe me, it works. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. yeah. Look, I, I, I think the Cabernet Francs generally, as far as I'm concerned, are, are shorter term wines, maybe eight to ten years maximum. The, the Cabernets, I think our style of Cabernets can easily go 10, 15 years, maybe even 20 years. You know, we, we're, still, we're still learning, but um, last year in September, I think it was, we had a vertical tasting of all our Cabernets that we've made so far from 2008 onwards. And the 2008 now is just amazing. It's now starting to get amazing, mm. you know, so, um, you know, we, we, because we're a new estate and a new winery, we don't have a repertoire going back to 1945, you know, <laughs> so um, our oldest wine is from 2008, so we, over time we will really see what the uh, ageability of these wines are. What kind of yeast are you using? Um, well, first of all, um, at the moment we are not um, doing natural fermentation. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we, at the moment, are still prefer to use um, cultivated yeasts, mm -hmm. which you buy in a packet. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's, it's not one yeast, for every variety we are using it, and they've got names and things. You know, mm -hmm. so yeah. and, uh, but where do you want to go? Do you want to end up with wine eventually, or do you think this is... Yeah, I, I think ultimately um, what we will do is always uh, predominantly um, cultivated yeasts, mm. but maybe uh, 10 or 20 percent of the wine we make natural ferment and then we, we blend the two. Mm. I'm, um, I'm just very careful of, of, uh, of natural ferment, you know, mm. because Things can go very right or they can go very wrong. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, we've I done it in the past. We've done it in the past. We, in fact, on Cabernet Sauvignon, mm -hmm. about half um, natural, half inoculated, mm -hmm. uh, and it, it works very well. Mm -hmm.